welcome back to another episode. Yesterday afternoon, it just rained all afternoon and then into the night. But I think it backed off through the night. I'll show you what we're waking up to. That's where we're heading today. This is the wet season, just storms and storms, heaps of rain. But we've looked at a weather forecast and we've got four days or so until we get some serious rain again, like proper rain. Even though out there it looks pretty bloody serious to me. Um, that could possibly burn off as the sun comes up this morning. I'm hoping that's going to shift. So that's the plan. Um, we didn't have the best day yesterday. If you look back on that episode, the quad bike broke down on us and we were stranded out in the bush. Dane had, it, had the dirt bike here. So he was able to ride back here to camp and get his troopy come back and get me and we put the bike back together and towed me back to here um, so it was a pretty ordinary day I'm thinking today and the next three or four days are going to be so much better we're going to dive for crayfish hopefully shoot a few fish we're going to go out to a really deep drop off and chase some redfish camp out in the islands and just live the island life so if you like the sound of that stick around I'm gonna jump up now, make a cup of coffee and some breakfast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, right there in the shallows. Oh. Look at this. Big bait ball of mullet coming through. You can see the little fins out flickering. Um, so yeah, Dane and I are packing the boat right now. I reckon it's been about two hours already, hey? Three hours. What's the time? Oh, right? easy. Three and a half. It's really? 9.45. There you go. I mean, but it's serious. We're, doing, we're gonna do four days in the boat. Um, we'd like to do longer, but it just depends on this weather. If we've still got fuel and we've still got you know, the good weather will stay out there. Um, and we've got about a 230 kilometer range, was it? I think, no, it, was, we got more I think than it was that. more. No, we've got more than that. Anyway, we've worked it out, so don't stress. Um, I'll go through the boat with you later, but we've got the fridge and boxes, dive gear, fishing gear, um, a bit of food in this pot, like dry food, we've got canned food and that. Like canned food is in like coconut milk and that's about it. But like the curries, we're gonna do curries, we're gonna do an Asian dish, we're gonna Make some, some fresh Asian produce like yeah. ginger and garlic and shallots yeah. as well. And some sauces like fish sauce and oyster sauce and that. So we're going to make some kick ass meal, like meals in the wok, like crayfish in the wok and that hopefully to show you guys. So we'll go through all that later. Um, Dane's just prepping the boat. I'm on the ground just moving stuff around and taking stuff to him. Uh, the crews are because we've had stuff all solar because of this weather. That's what it's like in the wet season, you don't get any, um, you get stuff all the sun, so the solar can't really keep up. The batteries were a bit low this morning, but we've taken the fridge out of there anyway, and the solar panel, whilst we're parked up, we're gonna park up in the trees up here for, for the, the time that we're away on the water, and that should charge that battery back up, the lithium in there, which is going fine anyway. Um, the lithium on the car is coming back up. I've just checked it, it's pumping in. Well, it's only, that's the thing, these things are clever. So it's pumping in 12.2 amps at the moment through the alternator. But when I first turned it on this morning, it was pumping in 40, 40 amps. So right now, I'm making a smoothie um, on the inverter. So that's our last bit of nutrients. There's the inverter in there. Big inner drive inverter. Um, about to crank that in a minute and whip up a smoothie. Yeah, last bit of nutrients. So we got some spinach and frozen mango, frozen blueberries, bit of coconut from the other day and bananas. Here we go. Nice. It's gonna fall off the trailer. Yeah, stop there, mate. It's gonna have to do. I'm just gonna drive forward. Overheating, we checked the telltale, which was sweet. 
then when we went to motor off, we had no RPM. We had um, it wouldn't max out the RPM. We're only getting to like 4,000 hertz. So we thought maybe there's water in the hull from the bung. We're gonna have a bit more speed, eh, get to the airlock. Um, so we've checked the hatches, and there is a bit of water in there. The bung wasn't. Okay, that's it. That's it. How many? Four. Bilge pump, we dropped the bilge in and sucked out about 15 litres, which is only 15 kilos. So it's not bad. So we're still trying to work out what's going on. We can't get the RPM up. We got this alarm. pulled over and checked the fuel filter and the water separator in it and we pulled out these bits of plastic I've thrown them away now they're like red rubber hey it was disgusting I can't work out what it was like there was a heap of it in the fuel and then there's all the colour of that fuel so we drained the fuel filter and then pumped in new fuel that's what it should look like that's what it did look like so we're just hoping now that basically from the filter to the motor whatever was is still that colour really, we can't get rid of that. Uh, we've still got the alarm going off so we're going to motor to this island and hopefully that'll use up all the fuel, that crappy fuel that's in the line and then we'll be pumping through the fuel and hopefully the alarm stops and we're, we're good to go. So we're just going to keep changing, we're just going to keep draining the filter, keep clean, like we're, we put some fuel through it, shook it up and then um, pour it into the bag and we'll just keep, keep um, draining it. Trying to clean it out. Keep trying. Third from right here. Put out. A stick bait. We're trolling a stick bait. And this mackerel, we saw a big mackerel jump um, earlier. Huge jump. And this mackerel's just come out and busted him. Watch those fingers. Here we go, it's clearing. Here's the islands. So we're heading out to this island. Right out the back there. Looks like we got lunch. Lunch and dinner sorted. That's a bit of a relief actually. We'll just bleed him and um, keep moving to the island. When we get to the island, we'll knock the fillets off and throw them in the fridge. Good stuff. A bit of trouty, a little bit of mackerel, and then we'll put the rest of that in the fridge. Garlic, butter, you got butter. That'll be nice. Yeah. That's sandy there, is it? Alright. We're having a break. We've just pulled up at an island and um there's a couple of families over here, indigenous families on the island and spears. I don't know what they're up to, having a fish. Um, but we're on our way up to this next island. I don't know if you can see that. I'll grab the camera and show you. Yeah, so we're heading up to this island up here in the background. Um, and we're probably going to set up a base camp there, take a lot of the gear off the boat, the fridge and everything, set up a tarp and put it all under a tarp take all the weight out of the boat and then we can just do missions from, from the island. But we're just, we're just pulling up here, we're going to cook up the trout. Um, it's a bit of a hectic morning so it's 2 o'clock already and we're starving. We're going to yeah, just pan fry some trout with a bit of salt and pepper and butter and keep moving. We've got the garlic butter. 
Yeah, got it, got it. Look at that. You know what I wouldn't mind? A little piece of chocolate. Right. A couple of trout fillets. How's the colour of that flesh? Nice fresh flesh. And I'm going to cut this garlic up. A bit of butter. Get it nice and hot in the pan and throw the, um, throw the trout in there. How good's this? Got a seat. Dane's cooking me lunch. Oh yeah. It smells so good. Surprisingly, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> that garlic just turns it from... A dirty old trout. Like, <laughs> it just makes it so... <coughs> Turned it from being like boring. You know what though, it's a little bit sandy. It's delicious. It's really hot. Oh, it's just a bit sandy still. Yeah. That's unreal. Good day. Yep. And look at the backdrop. How good is this place? So good. So this island up here is in well in the middle of two green zones. So we're allowed to fish there, we're allowed to dive there, do whatever we want. And um, there's lots of different zones around here, green and yellow and buffer zones and all sorts of stuff. But that's why we're gonna base ourselves there. And then from there, straight out towards the ribbons is also just do it, so take what you want. Well, not take what you want. There's still bag limits and size limits and all that, but basically free to zone open zones yeah open zones i mean we're and we're not here to rake and pillage anyway so we're not looking at bag limits we're just we're just looking at sizes and catch ourselves some tucker i'm gonna get into this before day eats it all stick that thing in the water wow Put that car in. Bombies just here. Oh, I just want to get in the water. Let's get to this next island and get in the water before it gets too late. Let's go give them the fish. So we're going to give this mackerel to the locals over here. It looks like they're just fishing off the beach, so I'm sure they'll appreciate that. And we're going to move on, and we don't really need a big mackerel for dinner, so. But it is. It is a risk. It is a risk, hey. <laughs> we could go we hungry. Got, other, we got no food now. We got rice. <laughs> We got rice, so we could be having rice for dinner, but I reckon we'll catch some. I reckon we're gonna get, we're gonna get a crayfish. <laughs> Two crays for dinner. Oh, it's cold, eh? That's all we want. Yeah, it's cold, eh? Not asking for much. Have a look at this coral. Look at this. Stone's struggling up the front of the anchor. So you just saw us pull the anchor up and then I showed you how epic the coral is. If you look down below here, we always try and anchor in a big sandy patch. And this one here is about twice the size of our boat, or three times the size of our boat, big sandy patch. And we've dropped the anchor right there in the sand. So we're pretty, pretty fussy about that, hey, protecting this coral. Look at that. Well, oh man. And another one. Wow. That's one big one. That's, that's we should ask these guys over here where to find crayfish. We'll ask the locals where the crayfish are because I want crayfish for dinner. Well, we're going to skim between two here. Oh, man, this place is just unbelievable. No wonder this is a national park. Yeah. Hopefully it's pristine. Mean the next island's going to be rubbish. Because <laughs> it's not a national park. I don't think so. Get there and there's just dead coral and no trees.
Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to keep going and we can't really... Like, he's too big for us for dinner, so... Oh, you're right next door. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, look at the Jeez. sounder! What? Little Mackie. Oh, it looks like a. Oh yeah. Tiny little mackerel. Little boy. Uh, um, Trebles out. There you go, guys. Tiny little Mackie. In Spanish, making a drink. So, I know we, I say this a lot, it's all about safety as Dane slips over. It's all about safety on these trips. One, you're in trouble because you're, you're far from help, but two, it ruins a trip. That's the trip over, and we put in so much effort to get to these spots and plan these, plan these trips, so you don't want to waste it. Um, catching mackerel, they've got razor sharp teeth and they've got a lot of, of them. So you keep your hands away and then trebles, trebles in your hands and arms and limbs and wherever else isn't pleasant either. And I know it's not life threatening, but it's a pain in the ass when you get trebles stuck in you. Oh. 
Big it's legal anyway, it's not massive, but when we're out here like this with no food, that's dinner. We'll chuck him in the fridge. Not if it looks off in a minute, we'll bleed him first. Have a go at this water. Look how clear this is. That's the Great Barrier Reef right there. And we got this place all to ourselves. Just for a couple of big pelicans in there. This is absolute paradise. Just need the sun to poke out tomorrow and it couldn't get any better. We've just got fish for dinner. Honestly, you guys wait. That'll be next episode. Do some underwater filming to get to see the coral. Hopefully not a crocodile. This is out of this world. Oh, it's 4pm. Oh my god. It's 4pm and we don't know the island yet, so we really need to keep circumnavigating the island. Look for somewhere safe for the night. Get into water tomorrow. That's what we see. Let's see where these birds are feeding over here. Every now and then you see the fins come out, either GTs or Queenies or something like that. Look at that, busting up. It's obviously a big bait ball just getting harassed by big fish. If we can find a nice spot, I can imagine if we can anchor into there, we've got no worries. We've got the barrier reef here hitting on the other side. Well, that's a big fish. Shallow reef. Um, so this is still a high, high-ish tide, I'm thinking. Maybe we should look at the watermark on the beach. Yeah. Oh, little turn. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing here? Little sooty turn. Can't even say good day. <laughs> Daniel jumped out of the. <laughs> look, look, look! He's landed on the boat. He's on top of the boat. Is he? Yeah, he's up on the roof. He's on the roof. I can hear him. He's Hello, mate. Rest. Hello, mate. Hello, you want to be part of the team? <laughs> Let's get your little shirt. Like you, you're not worried at all. Bet you if I put my finger there, you'll bloody peck it, won't you? You can see you're a seabird. Look at these feet. Don't you peck me. Hello, mate. You buggered. You buggered, are you? All right, we'll let you be. Have a break up there so we don't run into the reef. I think there is a break in it, eh? Hey. So we're going to tie the stern up to a tree, which is a bit extreme, but... It is what it is, it's going to work. That way we can have a good look around here. Bit of an explore, work out what's going on. I think we walk this way, because that could be a good anchorage for the night. Let's go help Dane. Look at this beautiful boat. I love it. It's such a little weapon, just needs a bigger motor on it. I mean, it did fine with just me and Dane, but as soon as we loaded it up with a shite load of fuel, it struggled. Oh man. Firewood galore. Need help? Nah, it's all good. Looks like there's a drain back here. Look at all this firewood. How good is this place? Wonder what else lives here. I'm gonna go for a good explore tomorrow, take you guys with me. Maybe get up early with a coffee, and go for a bit of a hike, one side to the other. I was just saying to Dane that there's something about islands that just get me going. 
and he's the same. Dane lived on an island for eight months. So he's got a real passion for it as well. But I haven't, I haven't spent much time on islands, but I've always been drawn to get out there and explore them. So this trip has been in the making for a long time. And look, there's more islands. The further we go north, there's more islands. Honestly, like the whole way up the east coast to Cape York, it's just island after island. I'm absolutely stoked, and I'm so stoked to be bringing you guys along with me. Paradise, baby. We're done. We're done. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Um, I reckon we go this way and see if it's like if it drops off and gets deep. Yep. And then go up there and. That did look nice up there. I just don't know if it's a go, if it's going to get too shallow. Probably should have a little rod with us. Right. Yeah. This is probably the spot, hey. Oh, look at this little lagoon. Little lagoon. A couple of big pelicans, lots of different species of terns. <laughs> how good is this? Look how clear it is. Oi, oi. Sting. Stingers. Yeah, no. I don't know if that's deep enough. Looking at that's that. Deep. Look, this is. Where's that's, the high that's tide, mate? This is so exciting. So exciting. <laughs> We're going to move the boat back into that little lagoon. Um, tide is... Tide is... What's the tide doing? It's still coming in a bit. I think it might still be coming in a little bit and then it's going to run out really fast. But we're going to get a big fire going on that peninsula there. Cook up some mackerel. I think Dane's going to make like a glaze, like an Asian glaze to go in the mackerel. It's going to be one of the best nights ever. And today started pretty rough. Troubles with the motor. Ugh, overloading the boat, I think. All that <laughs> in the fuel. Hopefully we got all that sorted. Oh, it is piercing down on the coast. Here in the trees, you guys know the deal with the hammocks. We had a couple of good sturdy trees, about four or five meters apart, and um, a fair bit of time. Pretty cool, we want to have a good night's sleep. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Little 
If any of you guys have a good nickname for the boat? Comment below. We're looking for a good name. We don't want to rename it, we just want a nickname. These trees are pretty well perfect. Yeah, one, two, one, two. And if not, that's there. This spot is just ideal. We're nice and high from the bank, not that we're really worried about crocodiles out here. Um, the boat is going to have a safe anchorage there tonight. Dane's just going to hold the rope there all night. And I'm going to get a good night's sleep here in the trees. What do we got over here? Look at that. And I'm pretty sure this is a turtle. Doesn't smell too bad, it's bloody old. There you go. That's an old turtle shell. Ah, oh, not shell, the old like rib cage and that. More bones here. Wow. Can't wait to explore this place tomorrow. All right, hammocks are up. This could be the last film sesh because it's getting starting to get dark. Would have been really good to film the dinner. We'll try it with a head torch. Here we go. Dane's got the the it's a H Hennessy hammock, but this is the big sucker. What's this one called? We XXL. Safari Double XL because Dane's a big lad. Big boy. Nath over here has. Again, the Hennessy hammock, but I think this is the Explorer XL. That's it there, Explorer XL. So this is where we are. I've tied up to this tree, through to that tree, and being the wet season, we're using the fly. I've only used that once. And then cozy little bed in there. Might chuck my sheet and my pillow in there. Might swim to the boat. Get the fish for dinner out of the out of the fridge and take it over to the fire. Hopefully the fire's still going over there. Yeah it is, I can see it. Ripper. Alright, well we'll finish this up. I'm gonna throw my stuff in the hammock. Jeez, that's low. How are you going in there mate? Oh, Look at man. the size of it. This is the goods. Zip that up. Mozzie yeah. free. Mozzie free. Absolute game changer these hammocks. Packed down to nothing. Mosquito free, you can get really high in the trees like we've done before and you're croc free, snake free, like you just get a good night's sleep, you're safe. Where's my, where's my door? There we go, good quality hips. Pillow, sheet, that's all I need. Two shots. Huh. Chuck him a bit of the frame, maybe. Whoa, I see that lightning. Look at these sharks. One, two. Oh, on his head. Now, hopefully they get rid of that because we don't want that frame sitting there. They'll come and get it. It's on, it's on. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look how close he is. Look how close he is. Yeah, we don't know if we're going to be able to film dinner. We'll give it a go. I'm going to swim to the boat now and get the fish and um, some butter. I think we've got everything else here. The fire's looking dreamy. So is the backdrop. Straight up there to the big islands. Look at this thing. Storms, wildlife galore. No one for miles. Happy days. Alright guys, 
that could be it. So, thanks for watching. The next few episodes are going to get wild. We've stumbled across paradise here. So if you like what you're seeing, if you like the end of this episode with these, the Great Barrier Reef here in far north Queensland, Australia, stick with us. Jump back on next week and we'll show you, a, we'll, show you a, we'll circumnavigate this island. We're going to dive for craze. We're going to spear and we're going to go out wide from here. We're going to leave all our stuff here and we're going to go further out wide and dive in some deep stuff. So yeah, stick with us. Thanks for the support. We're getting so much support. Don't know what the numbers are at the moment, but it's really starting to take off. Super exciting. We're just doing what we love doing and, and we love all the support that we're getting. So thanks guys. Um, all our shirts are on www.wildreaches.com. This is the long sleeve, the OG that I'm wearing now. Um, yeah, there's a new style. There's the caps. There's the cap Dane's wearing to jump on there. We really appreciate any of that. Um, I think we're doing pat Patreon, Patreon, whatever that is. So, and that's because we've had a few people say that they want us to do it. It's something that we didn't agree with at the beginning. We don't feel like you guys should be paying for any of this. Um, but people keep saying, just get on to it. So if you're happy to do it, we're happy to have the support. So thanks guys. All right, I'm going to swim out here and um, we'll see you at dinner time. Down here in the kitchen. I'll just see that off first. We've. All right, so Dane's whipping up a sauce. Then you can see the pan over there. There's a bit of butter in that. We're just keeping that warm, ready to throw the fish in. Can you take the lid off this pot here for me? Yep. It's too hot. I'm trying to simmer it. So we've brought the rice to the boil, which is in this Cedar Summit pot here. You can grab that rubber. It's pretty good. It needs to drag back a bit. So brought the rice to the boil and now, you know, cooking on a fire, you can't really control your temp. You just got to take it further and further away from the heat. Um, now we're just going to let that simmer with the lid on it for about 15 minutes. And all the rice will just, oh, sorry, all the water will just absorb. It should be good to go. Yeah, that's good there. Beauty. And Dane's whipping up an Asian sauce. How good is this? How good's life? <laughs> and then the ocean is right there. This is our kitchen and dining room. We're living the dream. All right, I think we're ready. Talk us through this, mate. <laughs> um, so we've got lime, some ginger, some uh, seeded chili. I've chopped up some spring onion and just some Spanish onion as well. And then we just reduce that on the fire first just to get all those flavors running through there. And we've just chucked a little bit of um, a little bit of oyster sauce and a little bit of fish sauce in there just to drizzle over. Yeah. Once we do a bit of rice, we pan fry the Spanish and then we'll just drizzle that over the top. Sounds good. Make a nice meal for the end of the day. And we've done, um, we've done skin on with the Spanish, hey? Yeah. Give so a little crisp. hopefully we get like a crispy skin. Yeah. This, this sounds dreamy. It smells, it smells so ridiculous. good. Oh, I smell that. Let's check this rice too while we're here. I'm going to thicken that up a little bit over the fire for a little while. Can you pop that lid too on the rice? How yeah, are we looking? Right. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Fluffy rice. <laughs> that was by chance. We have nailed that. I don't want to sound cocky, Whoa. but we have nailed that. That's not even sticking to the pan. Jesus. Perfectly oh, absorbed. That's the perfect, perfect amount of moisture. Good job, man. Thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Time for the fish. Lid on that. Let's get the fish on. I'll get the mackerel out. It's over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, 
Look. All right, All right. Dinner's, dinner's served. Dinner is served. Nath, the useless bugger, did just um, <laughs> we did just do this, but Nath forgot to press record. So yeah, Dane's gonna walk well. walk through it with you. What do we got, mate? Yeah, well, we've got the rice cooked pure by a luck. Ah, oh, to perfection. The crispy skin Spanish mackerel, and then the Asian sauce. Crispy, crispy fried mackerel island style. It's our first night out here on the island and everything is just right, just perfect. So we're going to dig in. Good night guys. It's insane, eh? Hey? Oh, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we're enjoying it. I'm saying we just had to train in the sky, couldn't get it. Dane's got a GT on. Oh, he's been doing screaming.